We hope all of you guys had a wonderful Easter weekend. We just got back from church. I know, look at my cute wife. She's all dolled up. She looks so e good. We got our Easter dress on. So funny thing you guys, after church we drove pretty much across the entire state of Florida trying to look for a cool place to do a picture. We were trying to find one where we were in neighborhoods and then like people would come out or like driveways <laughs> and we just gave up. We were yeah. like, you know what, we may not get an Easter picture this year. We gave up. But what we did capture early this morning, and by we I mean Britt, she woke up early this morning, captured the sunrise, posted it over on Instagram, we did a little reel. It was yeah. such a special way to yeah. start Easter Sunday. This guy was on fire, it was like I know. bright red, orange. It's actually one of our favorite things about this time of year is that it's beautiful out. We actually have a special Easter celebration oh, tonight. Yeah. We're gonna be having some people over for Easter dinner. Woo! And so I gotta get changed out of this. No. I need to put my apron on. I don't even know if we have an apron. I don't even have an apron. <laughs> but I'm really excited. I have a delicious meal plan. I'm gonna be making a new pasta salad recipe. It is one of our all-time favorites. I've made this quite a few times before. Everyone always loves it. So that's on the menu. Garlic mashed potatoes, Ooh. a special kind of asparagus, baked salmon, and I may make rolls. I'm up in the air about it. <laughs> but I wanna know what all of you guys made for Easter dinner as well. Just like that, we're back, baby. Woo! All changed up, ready to go for the day. So I got ready. We did take a brief Sunday nap. Oh, well needed. It felt amazing. Cute little thing huddled right up to me. <laughs> I got a really good story over on Instagram. As you guys know, Brittany is preparing a delicious Easter dinner. Check out all the stuff that she has laid out. Ready some flowers. Cook. I know, I'm sorry, getting out all my serving trays. I picked up some flowers from Trader Joe's and then kind of make some mash them a little bit. You want to eat outside tonight, right? Ooh, I would like that. Beautiful Speaking of weather. eating, hello. I know. These are my potatoes I just peeled and I think they are done, so I need to drain these. Speaking of potatoes, I know a lot of you guys ask us about Britney's cinnamon rolls. Well, these potatoes you could put up there with these cinnamon rolls. They are that good. I made these out in Hawaii and everyone was like, what is the recipe? So it's actually the Pioneer Woman's garlic mashed potato recipe. That's yeah. what it is. It's amazing. To it is cream cheese. But the thing about these is that they are so good, you don't even need gravy for them. No, you don't. I don't want to <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, but <laughs> you got so much steam there. It's still going. I know, it's still going. <laughs> but what I was gonna say is these are fabulous, just regular mashed potatoes. You don't even have to add the garlic, so you can make the same recipe without the garlic, and they were delicious. Remember how yeah. we split them half and half? Oh, they were so good. And we couldn't decide which ones we wanted more. The garlic, I actually just have in the oven right now, really high heat, 450. I just have three garlic bulbs in there, roasting with a little olive oil wrapped in tin foil for about 30, 40 minutes and then you take it out and you'll see, it'll be nice and soft and you just squeeze it into the mashed potatoes. Guys, this is baking bread with bread to the finest right here. So easy, so I need to get these mashed while they're still hot and I'm gonna just add butter, cream cheese, salt and pepper and a little milk to these and I'll show you how to add the garlic. Speaking of recipes, a lot of you guys have been asking us about more recipes that Brittany has. We've actually put them in a playlist, marked recipes, so if you guys will ever wanna go see any of the recipes that Brittany mentions here on our channel, definitely go check out that full playlist. <laughs> You'll see and more stuff like, like I got that. Out the sauna today. <laughs> also, I'm hoping once we get our website up, I will have a spot for them on the website. Yeah. It's just about done, so I'm gonna make my salad dressing and start chopping some of my salads. So this is a new pasta salad. I've made this a few times over the years. I remember the first time I made it for Jared's family. Mm -hmm. Lindsay, Mindy, and Jolene all wanted the recipe. It is so delicious and so easy to make. It's kind of a sweet, tangy, poppy seed dressing, and then you can literally throw whatever you want in it. Let's start with the dressing. So you're gonna need two tablespoons each of apple cider vinegar, and the recipe calls for white wine vinegar. I thought I had some and I don't, so I'm gonna <laughs> use red wine, and just fingers crossed, it'll taste okay. Fourth a cup of olive oil, one fourth teaspoon of paprika, and onion powder, one tablespoon poppy seed, two to four tablespoons of white sugar. I like four tablespoons to sweeten it up. <laughs> Do whatever tastes best, and then you just mix that together, and that is the dressing. So I'm gonna go ahead, throw that in, and then start chopping some of my pasta. Get 
and outside ready for us. I chopped up some celery and some Granny Smith apple. Feel free to use whatever you want. I'm also going to be adding some mandarin oranges, some dried cherries, feta cheese, and some candied almonds to this. Between the sweetness from the cherries and the mandarin oranges and the almonds, you kind of have that tartness from the Granny Smith, the crunch of the celery, and then the dressing. I'm also boiling some bow tie pasta right now. It is almost done. But once that, then what I usually do is I put that in a bowl with the dressing and that kind of helps melt any of the granulated sugar that may be there from not mixing it. And then I let that kind of just soak in before I add in all of the toppings. And then right before I serve it, I will put in the spinach and then I'll kind of show you guys how I finish that off. Next, we are making my lemon pepper salmon. So I need to prep that. It takes about 15 to 20-ish minutes to cook. So I'm gonna get it prepped right now so that way when we get closer to eat, I can just pop it in the oven. And then I'm also gonna be making some asparagus wrapped in prosciutto. I know it sounds fancy, but it is so easy. Presentation is beautiful for special occasions and it barely takes any time at all. So if there's one thing that we get asked about just as much as Brittany's cinnamon roll recipe, it's the salmon recipe. I always make it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is just some um, salmon. This does have the skin on. I got this from Trader Joe's. They always have such good fish. I'm just putting some butter all over the top. Now these are gonna be cooked in tin foil packets, and I feel like that's the key to keeping it super juicy, and don't be afraid to use butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. Because that's kind of the sauce. And then I just have some lemon pepper seasoning, and I'm gonna just sprinkle that over the top, and then I'm also gonna squeeze some fresh lemon on here. I'm gonna roll these up into little packets, pop it in the oven at like 375 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Just watch it. You'll just have to kind of see when it starts to barely flake apart, that's when you know it is done. My garlic came out of the oven, you'll see this. So I'm gonna squeeze this into the mashed potatoes and those will be done. And then I'm gonna put them in this pan right here. Pop them back into the oven to warm them up. And then you're gonna wanna put more butter over the top of these. Oh my gosh. So after the salmon is swimming in butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, it usually doesn't look like that much because it's not melted. I melted it this time ahead. That's smart. Yeah. Now there's a little like uh, trick on folding this. Yeah, so I just put it into a little tent, tuck in the sides here. It doesn't need to be fancy, just whatever works. Okay, I gotta pop these into the oven. Our guests are coming in 15 minutes. I got a little cute table runner here. I'm gonna put all the plates along here. So I love doing my salads on platters. I think it just looks so beautiful. So I have some spinach down and then I'm gonna take our pasta salad and just sprinkle it around. Oh my gosh. I just feel like this looks so springy and beautiful. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm gonna top it with some feta. Ooh. Also some more of those candied almonds. My feta. Oh my goodness. There is that beautiful salad. In the oven we have our salmon on top. I got my potatoes warming and on the bottom I have my asparagus. My pan just pop. Your cookie sheets ever do that? Yeah. Where they like to bend, they like pop in the oven. That's a sign of good luck, I hear. I don't know. And then also, <laughs> look at our finished table out there. Jerry, you gotta go show your work. Oh yeah. Table set up out here. It's finally cooled off, which is really nice because as we sit here, eat some dinner, we can actually enjoy the view and not be baked by the sun. But man, this is looking really good, not gonna lie. Oh, the finishing touch, the candied honey almonds. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we'd even just pass over that. So our darling friends, Bethany and Jackson, you guys met them a few vlogs back. 
came over and we had such a fun time. Oh, we had a blast. They brought over some delicious cookies oh. and some homemade key lime pie. Whoa, wait, we can't just brush over it like that. We <laughs> ate dinner outside and yeah. there was the most beautiful sunset ever. Oh yeah, I wish we would have grabbed the camera. I'm I so know. sorry. We just kind of enjoyed the moment, enjoyed yeah. their company, so that was so much fun. And then we went on a scooter ride. Yeah, but guess who didn't have a scooter? This guy. Other scooter, the battery was low. Took one for the team. I know. Rode a bike and we went on like a five mile scooter ride. Yeah, five ride, and a half mile scooter ride. Which was so fun. We went along the beach and then in the really pretty neighborhoods. It was awesome. It was just an awesome night. It was so much fun. Usually we take that route during the daytime or right before yeah. sunset, but we've never seen these homes at night lit up and yeah. it was pretty incredible. We got back right when it was like getting pretty dark yeah. and luckily yeah. they have lights on them Yeah, they got lights. Yeah, they're all good. But anyways, it was awesome no. such a fun time with them and yes bethany made a homemade key lime pie it was so good Graham cracker crust it was like tart <laughs> it was amazing oh, i felt semi guilty because i was eating like more than half i think i need to ask her for the recipe and i think yeah. all of you are gonna want it and then she also brought the best cookies i, I said yeah. these are like triple threat so it was a chocolate chip cookie they had yeah. chocolate chips they had cadbury eggs and toasted coconut the toasted coconut made a huge difference oh my gosh so good. they were so good she said she got the recipe from two peas in a pod so much fun tonight with them of course we're missing our families we've got to talk to quite a few of them today yeah i got to talk nice. to my mom which was really special absolutely love that easter for me you guys is just so much different than it ever was before the whole concept that christ you know the resurrection of christ and he lives and because of him we will all live again and we get to see papa again and be yeah. with him like man it really hits home yeah it really hits home i don't know if any of you guys out there can relate but yeah it just meant a lot more this year yeah so such a special day you guys we hope all of you had just a really lovely day as well so many of you guys saw our community post that we didn't post a video i guess it's yesterday now that you saw and wish us a happy easter so thank you for all your sweet messages the kind words we hope you guys feel our love and i i know i get sentimental around these things but honestly we just love you guys so yeah we really you, do thank you thank you and if you guys are ever here in florida hit us up let us know yeah also pan the camera down really quick <laughs> here's our little finn he had a little too much fun today too yeah he is getting sleepy also you guys speaking of finn he's got a big week ahead so on tuesday we did schedule that with our vet he really really encouraged us to get his teeth cleaning done and so we have to take him over. He's gonna be gone pretty much all day on Tuesday. They put him under. Send little Finn some little prayers because we hope that all goes really well. It's gonna be kind of a, a crazy day for him. But with that, we love you all. Again, happy Easter, and we'll see you all next time. See you guys, love ya, bye. bye.